we're just going to play the first 30 seconds of this because what I, I want to do is show you the first 30 seconds or so of this amazing short film. It's 3D animation. I, I, I just so blown away by this. It's awesome. We're going to play the first, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds because then I'm going to encourage you to go see the whole thing and I'll tell you why after we watch this. Okay. Right. <clears throat> All right, let me check this. Okay. All right, I'll give you a countdown and then I'll, uh, three, two. All right, okay, I'm really glad to have uh, my next guest. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, I've watched this already like 25 times. Um... <laughs> I, 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 I almost tear up by the end. And I'm like, I can't believe, first of all, this is a, this is a, uh, and, and you should check out the other animations Eamon Hawk has. It, it's, I'm just astonished. Right. Um, the, the sheer level of artistry involved in this. I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, and also like genuinely honored to have been like part of whatever this you know this person decided to create there it really is impressive you have to go watch the whole thing it is um funny and a little bit dark yes. um and um we are going to have on the program on friday in the uh second hour of the program Eamon hawk is going to come on a-A-M-O-N, Hawk. Yep, <laughs> it's going to come up. on. We're going to talk a little bit about what the the film is about. But like a lot of artists, I under, I appreciate this. Like sometimes you don't want to break it down. Like mm -hmm. you want people to be able to sort of make of it what they will. But we're going to talk about the process. Uh, they have been really uh, generous with their time. They're going to come on. Yeah, you guys, um, uh, like, go and, and find, well, we'll link to it too, Stephen Crowder's Nightmare for... Uh, aim and animations. Pull the, go, go, yeah. pull the pull, Tim Pool one just when he's uh, um, uh, uh, doing his hat. Do you it's, have that it's, one? It's, it's, uh, yeah. And it's also um, pinned on his. Uh, There's ones Twitter. up there with um, uh, uh, Norm Peter, Jordan Peterson, and um, who's that guy? The um, the guy who, who said that. Um, said to Dave Rubin, like, keep pretending you're a liberal. That's really good. Oh, Dennis Prager. Prager. Yeah. I mean, these things are amazing. I, 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 of course, am most partial to this, you know, uh, Stephen Crowder one. But um, Well, you know, you're familiar with Uncanny Valley, right? So do we have it, Bradley? Okay, put, put the Tim Pool one up. Just this part where he takes his hat off. I can't possibly, can't possibly have babies, babies because of because climate, climate change. change. You this know. is right, right. Which, which is, is nonsense. nonsense. No, but I do think it's crazy, crazy that I'm about to be 34, 34 and I have no family. Because oh. my, my dad had two kids by the time he was 27. Yeah, and I'm like, man, you know what? You know what the problem, problem is, though? is though? It's definitely not me. Mm -hmm. I think it's to everybody else. God, the, so amazing! The one, so amazing! The one gulp of the the hot dog right down the the, yep. the head gullet. Yeah, I think it's really great that you know 3D modeling is becoming democratized to this. I oh agree. My God, so oh. awesome! And we should also say there's an amazing article uh, in the Daily Beast about Tim Pool, which we'll be talking about in the coming mm. days. 
uh, we just got to wind our way through it. Maybe we'll have the, the author on, uh, the writer of the piece, highly reported. And apparently uh, there's audio recordings of, of Tim Poole to back up this stuff from a lot of those. Um, Bob Silverman wrote it at the Daily Beast. Uh, and there's audio from former employees of Tim Poole. I think Tim Poole at one point tried to um, uh, kidnap like a, somebody's uh, cat. I think right. to one of his former employees. So probably to you know. Eat I can't it wait. On the top I can't wait. He was for that saving to... it from Antifa. Yeah, I can't wait for that to uh, happen around here. When his I... beanie mouth needed sustenance. That's where the cat goes. This is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to force one of my. I'm going to fire you all and then make you take my cats. That's. I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I can't take any more cats. Um, uh, I got enough. I, I guess. And I... your cats are big. Yeah, like, My cats are massive. That's such a... Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really. Thank you.